Hi everyone, this is Lin Xiao. Today, I will present our work called Concepts to Robot, Learning Manipulation Concepts from Instructions and Human Demonstrations. Humans use concepts to mentally represent, summarize, and abstract diverse knowledge and skills. In this paper, we want to endow our robot with the ability to acquire manipulation concepts. These manipulation concepts can be seen as mental representations of verbs in a sentence. Given initial scene images, when we send various instructions such as put something behind something or put something into something, we want our robot to generate the motion trajectories to accomplish these tasks. To achieve this, we construct the embedding space that associates the task instructions and scene images with motion trajectories. Constructing an embedding space of manipulation concepts offers several benefits. First, we can specify the manipulation task with language instructions instead of GUI images. Describing the task with the language is much simpler than providing a GUI image. Second, we can obtain a multitask policy to represent diverse manipulation skills, such as open something or close something. Third, by training on a diverse set of manipulation tasks, our policy can also generalize to novel and similar instructions. How do we train our robot to output trajectories to accomplish tasks? Our approach is to use learning from visual demonstrations. It allows us to avoid reward engineering, kinesthetic teaching, or telecooperation, which are time consuming and difficult to scale up. We use the 20 billion something something dataset as our visual demonstrations. It contains around 200K video clips with 174 different action classes. Each video clip is annotated with a task description, such as putting something on the surface or moving something up. However, there are large domain gaps between the human demonstrations and the robot simulations. We address the large domain gap by using a video action classifier to evaluate the robot trajectories. The video action classifier is first trained to classify the action label of each video clip in the 20 billion something something dataset. We then use the learned classifier to score robot videos. The learning from a demonstration pipeline works as follows. First, we send language instructions and scene images as the input to our model and concatenate their features to provide a semantic context. Then a policy generation network outputs a motion trajectory specified as a goalpost and a series of forces to perturb the otherwise straight line trajectory. Next, we execute the entire motion trajectory with the robot in simulation and render it to get the video. This video is sent to the action classifier to get the score, which is used as a reward. We run a reinforcement learning algorithm to update the parameter of the motion trajectories to maximize the reward. While the 20 billion something something dataset contains 174 different action classes, we select the 78 tasks which are suitable for our robot simulations. We set up the simulation as pi bullet, and for each task, we train a policy using our learning from demonstration pipeline. Here we show some examples of the 78 tasks. This task is called closing something. Note that we test our policy with randomly generated initial object poses. This task is tell something with something on it so that it fails. Up to now, we have trained 78 single task experts, each of which outputs motion trajectories to accomplish one specific task. But our ultimate goal is to construct a unified model to represent a diverse set of manipulation skills. We're formulating it as a multitask learning problem. We train the multitask policy by running behavior cloning on the previous learned single task expert trajectories. The result is a unified model that can take in various task instructions and scene images as the input and output trajectories for 78 different tasks. Here, we show some examples of the multitask policy on a diverse set of tasks. Our multitask policy can also generalize to novel but similar instructions. For more details, please see our paper and web page. Thank you for your attention.